Hello traders, Jason here. It is Thursday, September 30th, 2010. It's about 2, almost 2.10 in the afternoon, so the markets are still moving. But I have some stocks to look at, as well as a broad market review for you. Um, right now, we're looking at the S&P 500 tracking ETF, which is a SPY. Um, we were range-bound for much of the summer, between 104 and 115, with a a notable jab below 104 down to the 102 level back in early July. Um, recently, mid-September, we broke out of that range, but on pretty low volume. Um, basically, we have the start of an uptrend here as we're making higher swing highs and higher swing lows, um, as long as you look at these major swings. And right now we're sitting at resistance, which comes back to these candles right here, which were right after the flash crash basically some pretty important candles uh, as the markets were deciding what to do back then. Um, there's also support back there and resistance from this major swing high back in I think that's April January <laughs> back in January excuse me so here we are sitting at resistance. I do expect the markets to slow down here. I wouldn't be surprised with another pullback. Hopefully we make a higher swing low and do not test the 104 level again. That would be bullish. Um, but I wouldn't be surprised nor disappointed with a, a high base or a, a very shallow pullback here. Um, that would also be bullish. And right now the MACD is bullish slightly. Looks like it could be turning over. The um, ADX is indicating a slight uptrend. The parabolic SAR is also indicating an uptrend. And the RSI is fairly high at 60. So now I have a few stocks for you. Um, mostly trades that I have been in. Um, CMG. I've been in CMG since it broke out back here um, in the beginning of March. I've been in it uh, since around the 108 level. And basically it held up really nicely all summer while uh, the broad markets pretty much sold off and were fairly crappy, uh, for lack of a better term. Uh, CMG held up during that entire time and showed some real relative strength, so I didn't mind holding it. In fact, it was my only holding, as most of them uh, got stopped out over the flash crash back in the spring. Right now, CMG recently broke out of an ascending triangle with nice volume. I added on that. We had a, a high base and another breakout and I added a tiny bit more on that. So CMG is currently my largest position. Um, my stop is just under 150 on that. BAP is a more recent position. I entered on this ascending triangle breakout. Um, not much volume stepped in so it's a very, a very small position. But um, BAP is looking relatively strong so I still like it here. Uh, right now we made a high base um, almost a bullish pennant right there and are currently pulling back and sitting at the 20-day moving average um, a bounce off of there would be a decent buy um, although I'm probably gonna wait for another bullish setup before I add to that position PTP broke out of an ascending triangle formation uh, not the strongest ascending triangle um, not the strongest volume either, but it's had a nice run since then, so I'm still in this. It's also a small position, and uh, as long as it keeps making bullish setups, I'm going to keep adding to that. Um, FOSL. Apparently I love ascending triangles, because here's another one that was sort of a high base, um, but also could be considered an ascending triangle breakout on increasing volume, which is good to see. The ADX is strong here. Um, Basically, this one has run straight up since my breakout, so I would like to see it uh, pause here while the broad markets pull back. That would be healthy to see on that. HLF is the only stock that I'm not in, other than the spider, but um, I'm watching this one closely because it's making a nice high base uh, or ascending triangle continuation type breakout. Uh, so. That's what I see right now in the broad markets. Those are five stocks for you. And, yep, that's all for now. I'm going to try to make more videos going forward. I know it's been a while since my last one. Thanks for being a part of SwingHigh.com.